Now we shall discuss inconsistent analysis problem, how this particular problem can be prevented using two phase locking, two PL. We know that in case of inconsistent analysis problem, there will be two concurrent transactions will be there. One transaction will do some data processing and another transaction will do some updates on the on those data items which are being processed by the other transaction in the data processing and that will produce one inconsistency problem. So, the problem will be prevented and will be solved using this 2 PL. So, how it can be done? We are going to discuss it through one example. See, we are having transaction T1 which is the younger one and another transaction T2 which is the older one because it has got initiated at instant T1. So, now this is the full table, we are having balance x, balance y and balance z initial values are there. Sum is equal to 0, so sum has been initialized with 0. Right lock balance x has been requested, prior to that there is no locking on this balance x, so balance x data item was unlocked. So, that is why this locking will be granted. At this particular instant T4, this read lock balance x has been requested by transaction T2, but it has been locked in the right lock mode by the transaction T1. So, this request will not be granted and this particular transaction T2 will go for the waiting state until this request, request is getting granted. This request can only be granted if the transaction T1 is going to release this balance x, then this request will be granted, then it can, it can go for the rest part of the transaction. So, right lock balance z, so prior to that right lock balance x, that means what? that means it is a growing phase of the transaction T1. Read balance x, balance x has been read, balance x has been decreased by 10 and now write balance x. So, now the database will get re reflected accordingly. So, 100 has been replaced by 90. Now, we are having this read balance z, okay, it has been read, balance z is equal to balance z plus 10. So, the balance z value has got increased by 10. Write balance z, now the database will get reflected. So, this 25 has become 35 at this particular stage, at this particular instant of time that is T10. Commit means it is making the change permanent and al along with that it is doing the unlock on this balance x and balance z. So, now those variables are now available for the transaction T2. So, it is now passing through the, it is now passing through the growing phase. So, now read balance x sum is equal to sum plus balance x. So, sum was having the initial value 0 from T2 instant. Now, this balance x has got added. So, 90 has got added to it. Read balance y, balance y has got added with the sum. So, balance y is 50. So, 90 plus 50 that is 140 has been added. Read balance z. So, balance z current value is 35. So, sum is equal to sum plus balance z. So, now the sum has become 175. The basic difference between this balance x and the sum is that sum is a memory variable. So, whenever there is some updates with the sum, we are reflecting it directly. But balance x is a data item from the database. So, until it is getting written back onto the database, we are not updating the respective balance x, balance y and balance z values. So, now ultimately the sum is having this value 175 and commit and unlock is taking place on the all three items that is balance x to balance z. So, now this is my 175. Now, look, look at here what the problem we faced in our earlier videos to discuss inconsistent analysis problem. We had this particular data items getting added, but those data items were not available in the single instance of the database. But here you see this 175 is nothing but 90 plus 50 plus 35 and which is available in the same instance of the database. It is available in the same instance of the database. So, there is no inconsistency. So, in this way prevention of inconsistency problem has been done using 2PL. Thanks for watching this video.